problems with the grip on his tennis forehand and so I'm not going to go over the back end today I'm just going to go over really quickly some important things when understanding the correct grip so the first thing we need to do is looking at the hand okay so you'll see I've got two reference points when I'm looking at the grip one is my index knuckle and one is the heel pad of my hand or the fatty part of my hand now those are the two reference points for the hand. Now, on the grip, we're going to look here. I've labeled, we've got eight bevels, okay? This is the flat part of the grip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, we'll put the racket on its side, and that will be number one. That's if, so if you want to label it the same way, the top one, when the racket is sitting on its edge, is number one. Now, the same exact thing under the bottom here, you're going to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, I've labeled them there as well. So they correspond with each other, one, one, two, two. Now, very simple. The serve, using a continental grip, that's the best grip that you want to use for serve and for a volley. The way you're going to work this now, is you're going to line your index knuckle on number two. Okay, so there's number two, there's my index knuckle, they're lined up. That's the first reference point. The second reference point, remember, is my heel pad down here now I'm also going to make sure that that X where my heel pad is is lined up on number two as well so the fat part of my hand now see I could have it on number three that would be incorrect so I need to make sure that the number two is on the heel pad and my index knuckle is on number two that's the contact uh, that's the correct grip for a continental grip which is for your serve and for your volley now let's go to the next phase so that's a continental now let's go eastern forehand all I do now is I shift my index knuckle over to number three now I need to make sure that I also do the same with my heel pad so that would be incorrect leaving it on number two now I'm going to shift it over to number three I'm now in an eastern forehand grip okay so this is an eastern forehand grip three and three all I do now to go around one more bevel to number four would put me in a semi-western so I move my knuckle, index knuckle over to a number four. And then the same thing here. I move the heel pad over and I put it on number four. I'm now in a semi-western forehand. Okay, so four and four, that's semi-western, three and three is eastern forehand, two and two is continental. And the last one here, we go western. I'm gonna take my index knuckle, I'm gonna move it over to number five. Okay, right there. And then I've got to do the same here on the bottom. So now I'm going to make sure that my heel pad there is on number five, as you can see, one, two, three, four, and that right there sitting on the heel pad is number five. That would be a correct western forehand. That's very, very simple. You use the index knuckle and the heel pad on your hand. Those are the two reference points, and you can use the labeling like I did on the grip to help you to find the right place to start. But hope that helps with the, uh, with the grip for everyone out there. Thanks.